So we're going to be taking a closer look at the C110 diagnostic tool for BMW and mini cars and we're really going to be looking at the top 21 questions or everything that you need to know about the C110 kit before you go ahead and buy it. So let's get into the vehicle, let's get into the review. So the first question I guess we could ask is what is the C110 or C110 Plus? Well it's a, a very small handheld tool with an integrated screen which allows you to diagnose and reset fault codes and warning lights in your BMW or your mini vehicle. Now let's say for example you have a check engine light or an airbag light like we do on this screen, it's going to allow you to find out what the reason for these faults is and ultimately reset the warning lights and reset the fault codes. So it allows you to put the power in your own hand so you know what the fault is if you're putting it into a garage alternatively if you don't want to take it to a garage you can fix the car yourself that is what this tool allows you to do and that is what it's made for so where to buy it the best place to buy this if you want to get a genuine tool is just by clicking the link directly below this video it will take you to the Amazon listing for the uh, the absolute cheapest price you will find this tool for and uh, bearing in mind if you go through the link that I'm going to show you it will be a genuine tool there are fakes there are clones it's very um, very tempting I suppose to maybe go out and buy a really really cheaper tool but it will be a fake it will be a clone um, with regards to the price of this tool I think the prices obviously they do fluctuate they go up and down but at the moment I think the price for this is round about 49 or 50 pounds which actually for the uh, the amount of cover system coverage and vehicle coverage you get with this tool you know it's smaller than the palm of my hand it's an absolutely fantastic bargain it really really does give you a lot of power for a, a very small amount of money so how is the tool powered? Does it have an internal battery? It does not. We have this cable running out of the top of the tool. The other end of this cable goes into the diagnostic port, so it takes its power from the vehicle battery. Uh, what manufacturers are covered? Well, you will only get access to BMW and Mini. So if we click on to manually select, go through the options I hope you can see here on screen I'm not sure if the camera picks it up but I'll read it out so we've got one series two three four five six seven X series Z series I series and mini as well uh, for the mini it's R50 to R53 R55 to R61 and F55 and F56 okay and what systems are covered well it all really depends on your specific vehicle but let me give you an example for this particular vehicle it's an X uh, it's an X1 F48 so if we go to the driver section it gives us two pages of you know ultimately you'll get access to the engine the fuel pump transmission transfer case a gear selector switch for the chassis you can go to tire pressures DSC that's the ABS power steering cruise control uh, chassis management and then the body which will be junction airbag lane change warning got six pages of screens here I'll just scroll through them I'm hoping the camera can pick these up park distance so sensors uh, parking sensors you name it all right so we'll go back um, it doesn't have any special functions that's one of the questions we get does it do like an oil service reset or electronic park and brake reset or opening close it doesn't No. all this tool will do will allow you to actually uh, diagnose and reset fault codes and warning lights you cannot do any special functions like oil service reset so what information does it give when you get a fault code well, we'll we've got two examples here so we've got the check engine light right there um, I'm gonna click on to driver click on to diesel motor electronics so read trouble code it's giving us two faults here it's giving us a unique code and a description of the fault so once you've figured out what the fault is you know it's telling us here that the hot film air mass flow and there's basically a problem with the airflow we've worked it out that it's a mass airflow sensor so we put a new mass airflow sensor in but we still got the check engine light and uh, what we can do is just go to erase trouble code I'll keep an eye on the check engine light while I do this and there we go check engine light is gone fault code is erased so we can do exactly the same for the airbag system we need to go into the body airbag so read trouble code it's giving us three different three unique codes here 
Ultimately though, you'll find that the rest of the codes are triggered by the first code. So side airbag, passenger resistance too high. Basically, we uh, we created this fault ourselves. We unplugged the connection and we've put it back in, but it has created the airbag light. So when I do this, we go to a raise trouble code and the check engine light, uh, sorry, the airbag light has gone. So that's the kind of information you'll get when you uh, find a, a trouble code. Uh, is it touch screen? It's not a touch screen, you do need to use the buttons in order to navigate through the menu. Uh, how much are updates? Updates are free for life with this tool, providing it's a genuine tool. So if you are wanting to get updates, make sure you buy a genuine tool. Make sure you buy it through the link in the description below this video. Um, how to update, it's very easy to update actually. Um, you just need to download some software. The software, it tells you all about the software in the uh, the manual, which I'll show you in a second uh, inside the box. Now, how does it compare to something like the BM version 1.0 kit by iCarsoft, this tool here? Uh, well, this is very budget. It feels very cheap, um, but ultimately it will get a job done. This is a sort of a, a more of a quality tool, a quality uh, size tool. Uh, it does give you a bit more information. It also do allows you to do oil service resets, gives you like battery data, it gives you lots more live data, uh, but this ultimately it does cost more. So this is about 99 or 100 pounds. This is about 50 pounds. If all you need to do is reset a check engine light or an airbag light in your BMW, then you know, this is, this is just as good. So it's up to you, the level of tool that you want. If it was me personally going bet between one of these tools, I'd go for the more quality tool, which is the iCarsoft tool. Um, but if your decision is to go with this, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, can you get help and support? That is another thing with, this, with the differences between these two. You get help and support for this tool. Uh, this tool here, you won't get any help and support. If, say for example, you try to reset one of the warning lights and it didn't work, and it does happen, uh, you'll get no help or support. Basically, you'll just be told to return it for a refund. Um, with the other tool, the iCarsoft tool, um, you'll definitely get help and support for that, and the engineers will work with you to uh, adjust the software. Um, what I'll do, actually, I'll put the link to this kit in the description below as well, as well as the link to this kit, just so you can make your own mind up. Can it print faults? No, it cannot do any printing whatsoever. Um, are there any other languages on the screen? I don't, I'm not sure actually. Oh. I pressed the wrong button here. I'm just going to quickly unplug it and then plug it back in because it would have taken ages. Uh, system configuration, uh, system information, or beeper. All you can do is just turn off the beeper on or off. So, no, the answer is doesn't do any of the languages. The only language you can do is English. Um, box in, uh, instructions and box what does it come with so this is the box here gives you basic information about what the tool will do we open the box up inside you will get a nice handy little pouch here so you can keep this in your glove box um, a USB cable to update uh, connection um, manual so it will show you how to do the updates and this is the software here on this little CD software can only be updated by using a Windows machine, you can't use a Mac or Apple software to do any updates. You must use a Windows machine. Uh, is it easy to use? Well, you've saw me go through the menu system there. Very easy to find what you need to do. Very easy to understand the information on screen. So yes, it's very easy to use. And would I recommend this to somebody with no experience? Absolutely 100%. In fact, this is probably the tool I would recommend for someone who has absolutely no experience whatsoever because you know, well, as, as with the iCarsoft tool, you can't do anything wrong. You can't damage the tool, you can't damage the vehicle, which is ultimately what you're looking for. Um, there are no other icons, as I say, to mention, so it's hard for me to show you any other icon menus. You can just, what you can do is the three main options here. So we looked at manually select, where you manually select the system which you want. Uh, you can do system configuration, which we looked at, but automatically search. All this really does is, if you say, say for example you had a fault and you weren't sure where it was, it would search the whole vehicle for faults, which I accidentally pressed it before. So it goes through the whole the whole vehicle and the whole uh, selection of systems that it can potentially diagnose, and it will find faults in any of them if there are any. Um, 
it's a good way of doing it if you don't know where the fault is or you just want to do a quick um, health check of your vehicle um, we'll come back to this in a moment once it's finished um, does it double up as anything else the answer is no all you can use it for is a diagnostic tool so you can't go on the internet you can't uh, use it as like a, a phone or anything like that it's just purely a diagnostic tool and uh, Delivery of this is absolutely phenomenally quick. If you order by the link below, um, I ordered this and it actually came the next day. So delivery is really, really fast. With regards to this here, I think that what this is doing is it's telling us the systems that it can connect to. I believe, I'm not sure why it would tell us. So let's see, it's got this DSC in red here. Does that mean there's a fault with that? Uh, read trouble code ah yes it does so it's telling us there's a fault with that particular system sometimes you know these cars they do have complex electronic systems and sometimes you can just get rid of them by um, they're like little anomalies they're not important enough to show a warning message so that's probably what's happening there but ultimately that's it um, so yeah, so I hope you found this useful if you are maybe looking to buy one of these tools or you were interested in just understanding more about the tool if you've bought one already or you, you want to buy one to see if it's going to be suitable for you, your needs, your vehicle needs, um, whatever, I hope it's helped. Um, but I do think uh, if you want a genuine tool you need to go through the link in the description below this video. Like I say, you'll go through and you'll get a genuine product there. Uh, thanks for watching this video, I hope it's helped and I'll see you on the next video.